stiff arm, running over people. Oh, and his man. Look at him run the rock. Like so many of the great power backs, you don't hit him, he hits you. Peterson's got it. Inside the five, still driving for the touchdown. Woo-hoo! And he let all the tension and all of the anxiety off his shoulders. Put down his head. Get it to him again in Chicago. This time, there is Peterson. At- Peterson, and he'll get stood up at the one-yard line, but stays on his feet. A gritty piece of running by Adrian Peterson. He's still going. To the left, drags another across the 30. Adrian Peterson finally is stopped at the 25. No, he's not at the 21. They'll have a job in this league for a long time. Now Peterson breaks away. <laughs> Breaking into the open field. And he shoves away one, shoves away another, and blasts his way into the end zone. First two goal at the eight. Hynoski came in motion. Jacob goes to the outside. Brandon Jacob oh, put a shoulder down. He is destroying people. The feet moving all the time. You're talking about a 265 pounder running downhill. Oh, and Jacobs hits her. Remember, Jacobs is 6'4 and 264. He's a linebacker. It's in the receiver's right. Jacobs comes left, accelerates into the end zone. He'll we'll say, Where the heck did that truck come from? So there's the diesel. That is getting run over. Oh. Second and goal. They'll try Jacobs. And Jacobs, can he pull his way in? Yes, he can. First down. Oh, look at Herschel Walker fight and score! Power, speed. You know, you forget how strong a man Herschel Walker is. He is just so tough to bring down great strength. And Herschel Walker just cruising through would be tacklers. Trying to get to the first down. Walker shakes off a tackle and blasts his way upfield, just carries people with him. The pitch is to Walker. Beautiful, beautiful job by Herschel Walker. Walker breaking tackles. Over the middle, catch is made by Mark. Herschel Walker, he breaks the tackle to the 30. He's to the 30. Cunningham swings it out to Walker. First down for Herschel Walker, and he goes in. Number 39, Larry Zonka. It's Zonka straight up the middle. Zonka, the 40, 30, just building one man out of the way. Zonka. This is a brilliant one-man effort. Now watch this violent attack right there. Zonka breaking tackle as a first down. That's what he does. So strong at 239. So bruising. Zonka. Touchdown. Now he hands off to Zonka. Heading right side. Touchdown. Larry Zonka. Zonka. What tremendous power. And off Zonka. He's got it in his thumb. So far, it's been all Miami. All oh, Larry Zonka. That's right. Gives it to Henry. Henry bounces it outside. 5, 10, 15, stiff arm, 20, 25, 30, 40, stiff arm, 50, 40, 30. He's on his feet. Big chase, 20, 15, 10, 5. Now the speed, Derek Henry, stiff arm. Do not stand up with that man and let him just throw you out of the club. Well, the one play call. This is Henry taking out tacklers. Henry, Derek Henry with a hole breaking tackles. It's going to get a face full of hand. Here's a stiff arm by Henry. And Henry just went one on one and then one on one again and then one on one again. Nope. Henry, Henry breaking free. 20, 25, up to the races. When it was time to play, I was there. Without question, the most impressive player I've seen was Jim Brown. Just such a durable, fast, powerful. This Jimmy Brown just sticks his head down and powers straight forward. Brown staggers, keeps on his feet. He bites away. Jim is the midfield. Jimmy's harder to bring down than a wild steer. 
There are defensive men in the league who have dedicated themselves, their souls and their bodies to a holy war against Jimmy Brown. None of them has yet won the crusade. John Stephan, I guess uh, he'll go down as one of the great all-time running backs in professional football. I mean, how better can you write a script for crying out loud? <laughs> Ironhead Hayward, bowling his way. Look at this! It's all individual effort on the part of Craig Hayward. To Hayward, and he picks up the first. Gets it out to Hayward. Hayward, first down and much, much more. Ironhead. Hayward is in for the touchdown. Boy, did he make a couple of people pay for being in the wrong place. Bounces off the pile, turns it up, 30, 35, breaking a tackle. Look out, he's at midfield, 50. Here's Hayward, inside the five, and he is in for the touchdown. George again. George, breaking tackle into the end zone. Eddie George is one of the best players in the league because he can do that. And he just bangs one of the defensive backs. Swing pass to Eddie George. Open field. Tackle is broken. Eddie George is in. On third and goal. Handle Eddie George. That's nothing but individual effort. And that in and of itself will pick up the entire sideline. Keeps his feet moving. Eddie George. George breaks a tackle. Eddie George to the clear. He's got running room. You could see the power that he delivers when they try to tackle him. He's so big and he's so strong, they just can't get him down. Look at the legs on that guy. But those two are fighting right now. 2.16 to play to Eddie George. Eddie George breaks it. He's not done. He's going in. Eddie George with the go-ahead touchdown. The great players of any era can play in any other era. And Marion was one of those. Marion Motley and the Hawking fullback. It's with the force of a steam engine. In his era, I think he was the best of the fullbacks. He was a big man. The mammoth Motley, 238 pounds of football dynamite. He was 40, 50 pounds bigger than some of the guys that were playing in his day. Big Marion Motley had a great day. He took a handoff from Otto and pulled and galloped his way for 58 yards. Old Mariusz is feared, and you got the idea why when he got moving on this one. Boom, boom up the middle, taking off like a GI on a three-day pass. He chose his tremendous drive. As he knocked over the Steelers like 10 pins on a bowling alley, Motley tops his helmet to the crowd as he jogs over the goal line to give the Browns a 17 to nothing lead. Hand off Allstott, running right. Allstott shakes a tackle, shakes and makes a tackle. Keeps his balance, goes back to the left. Allstott, two one. Puts his shoulder down and just runs flat over people. And again, Mike Allstott. He has been that way all day. Sidesteps the tackle, rolls off the tackle to the 20. He's to the 15, to the 14. One. Allstott breaks a couple of tackles. Look, the A-Train's amazing, refusing to go down. The ball, it is caught, caught by Allstott. He's to the five, he's to the one. Third and one, Allstott. Look at Allstott go. Look at him go. Touchdown. Allstott, hit, pulls his way across the 40, still going down the sideline. Inside the 20, to the 10, and down at the two. He's in, touchdown. The Nigerian nightmare. Just inside the six yard line, Okoye taking it over to the right side, breaking tackles, he's in. Like so many of the great power backs, you don't hit him, he hits you. I feel sorry for these defensive backs, I really do. It'll be hard to stop. Okoye, they may not see him. Huge strength and bulk. He just runs over people. You can't stop him for five or six yards. He just runs through everybody. My goodness. That is something to see. Okoye, touchdown. Okoye back in and gets the ball. Christian Okoye, touchdown. Second and goal. Okoye blasting up the middle. Look at this power into the end zone, standing up. Boston's Jim Nance shows why he's the league's leading rusher. Jim Nance, Boston's dynamic fullback, leaves tacklers talking to themselves. He rips through and scores. The big bow is on the go. Once again, Pirelli goes to his big fullback for the final yards, and Jim Nance responds with tremendous force and six more points. Nance comes right back with another big gain up the middle. 
Jim Nance still hits that left side for 23 yards. Let's open up a big hole for Jim Nance. The league super fullback goes non-stop. Big Bo belts the Jets forward wall for seven, where Jim Nance barrels in for the score. And Jamal hit by Freeney, shakes him off, and still on his feet. Jamal Lewis, the big guy with great speed. He's so big and so strong. Field the pitch out to Lewis. He got a block from Gaines. He'll try to get That is a hard man to bring down. The knockout punch has been delivered. Stiff arm running over people. Oh, this man. Look at him run the rock. On the ground, Jamal Lewis breaks two tackles. Back, Jamal Lewis will get the handoff. Breaking tackles. Jamal against the blitz. Breaks it. Veteran Lewis, he's down to the 25, the 20, the 15, 10. Lewis will not be denied. And it's Jamal Lewis. Got an opening. I'd say he's going to get his touches. After one, he has six. Coming right at you. Here's a man that knows how to run. Franco Harris, big Austin. Harris bangs his way inside the 30. All they need to do is give Franco one hole. They gave it to him there. Franco Harris puts it through. Money, money player in the big game. And Franco runs up to the line. Looks like he stops and maybe scratches his head. What am I going to do now? And all of a sudden, he goes, <laughs> takes off. Harris is going for a touchdown for Pittsburgh. 50,000 people standing in a body. Listen to the ovation for Franco Harris. Look how hard he hits people. He's just so quick. Look at that first. Banging into people. Holy Toledo. Bo Jackson still going. Tough to bring down. He is not going to be denied. Love two tackles. Deep motoring along. To the 25-30 stomach. Bo Jackson bouncing off tacklers. He's got it. Touchdown! Bo, look out! Bangs his way. Here's Bo. And here goes Bo. Bo Jackson. Second surge. Touchdown. He's got it. Out of Miami in the east. And now the Raiders, can they stay with Kansas City? And can Denver stay with Bo Jackson? The answer is no. Bo has another. Yes, sir. Here it comes. Those 395. Here comes the diesel. Here comes the diesel. John Riggins right up the middle. Oh, John Riggins, the diesel getting warm. Riggins up the gut. And Riggins breaks tackles and hand off to Riggins. Hit behind the line, breaks the tackles. Then goes the diesel for... He gets ran through people, didn't he? He, did he break some tackles? He bowled them over. Whoa, what wow. a run. Riggins. He's going to go all the way. Unless Blackwood can catch him and he can't. To Riggins. Up the middle he goes. Riggins, goal line, touchdown. Riggins is wearing him down. That's right, he's starting to run. A big guy. Yeah, that's a big hog in the backfield, too, I'll tell you. The diesel. The big guy did it. Holy cow, what a play. If they were going to remember me by anything, I would like them to think that I always came to play on Sunday. Sunday rolls around and the ref blows a whistle. You can bet that I'll be playing. Here's Barber going to the outside. He's able to turn the corner, pick up the first down, get inside the 10, dives for the end zone. It's Barber. Cuts it back inside, inside the five. Marion Barber still on his feet, head down against the defender. Here's Barber fighting his way and pushing in for the touchdown. I mean, he's just such a tough physical runner and just never quits. Marion Barber. And they may run it. Barber better be careful. That got him in the end zone. Asani Samuel has a shot. Now Green, how does he escape? First and goal from the nine. This is Barber. Barber into the end zone. Going to Barber out of the backfield. And down the sideline. A big play by Barber. Still on his feet. Trying to beat Roll into the end zone and does. Folks, I wish you were here today. This is vintage Earl Campbell. 10 3 Los Angeles, and here goes Earl Campbell. He knocked Robertson on his back. Watch out. Beautiful, beautiful. Five. Oh, oh. oh. 
They're going wild in Houston. Oh. Everybody's happy. I'm going well up Robin. here. Earl Campbell right. is strong. And Ran he over, will I put say. his shoulders into your chest. Now runs everyone to the right. Look out. He's gone. He He's gone. He's gone. He ran so low that there was nothing to tackle. He is just amazing. It's like he's inhuman. Campbell, he has great speed. And he has tremendous strength. Oh, oh boy. Touchdown, Houston, Earl Campbell. What a game. They would show him running the ball, then they would back it up in reverse and show all the people he had run over. Touchdown, Earl Campbell. I see him run over people. And then I see him run around, and, and I never saw him get caught from behind. What a show this man has put on tonight. What you have seen tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is a truly great football player. In the late moments, take total personal command of a game. A fullback has a dirty job. It's getting the dirty yards, the marks of a true pro. Brown could always be counted on for the top third down yards. 230-pound fullback Bill Brown, whose balance and determination have carried him through NFL defenses for over 4,400 tough yards. This year, Brown, as usual, was among the top 10 rushers and was second in the league in touchdowns. To stop Bill Brown requires something special, like a giant or an entire team of near giants. When in trouble, Viking quarterbacks look for Bill Brown, not only the Vikings' all-time leading rusher, he is also their all-time leading receiver. Either way, it adds up to a lot of head knocking. Kick ass, let everything hang out. Hey, my my First down, he's inside the 10 yard line, the 5 yard line, and inside the 5 and touchdown. He's the best in the NFL there is. And of course, Walter Payton. In a class by himself as the premier running back in all of pro football. Walter Payton again and breaks into the, uh, the Lions secondary. Another first down still going. Ripped by one man, still on his feet. Struggles away at the 20. Still family. Payton came up with a good quality of effort on that play. One of the greatest runs I have ever seen Walter Payton make. It's back to Payton. Walter Payton, look at this kid play football. Payton's got the first down. Look at him running across. Delaney. Here comes Payton. And Payton is in. Goes to Walter Payton. He's a tough guy. Look at Walter Payton. This stadium is very quiet, and they're just kind of watching Payton in awe. Who makes the reception? Hammond over the field. I don't want Payton. Oh, Payton's still on his feet. It's Walter Payton. Give me the hard Walter Payton. There's never been a greater heart. My style, and he always taught, never die easy, he said die hard. Bolton will throw on first down. Jackson, coming back this side, escapes one tackle, and touchdown Rams. A big back that's explosive, and he's got power. He is tough. What an effort by Steven Jackson. Watch out, he's a horse. Still on his feet. Takes the stiff arm right to the forehead. Down he goes, and away goes Steven Jackson. With number 39, Steven Jackson coming at you. That is a big man who was hard to get down. Steven Jackson would not be stopped. And Jackson comes near side. And Jackson. Jackson. He won't go down. And he keeps fighting, and he's still going. Steven Jackson. Jackson. Still on his feet. Still fighting. With time ticking in the fourth quarter, this is Jackson breaking tackles, moving tacklers, and touchdown St. Louis. Bronco dragged the NFL out of the back alleys and into the American consciousness because he was so big. He was an, an enormous man. I mean, his forearms looked like a lot of people's thighs. He was 6'3", and he was 235 pounds, and he was playing fullback. And back then, the defensive guys weren't that big. You know, they were 200 to 220. Bronco ran the football like he was boiling over with rage. He was one of the greatest big running backs in the history. Here comes the bus, and he's got that head of steam. He's breaking tackles. He's still on his feet at the 30, the 25, the 20. The bus goes 43 express. 
Right side, Bettis, and Bettis runs into the pile, and he's still on his feet, and he gets to the goal line, and he pounds it in. Jerome Bettis plows straight ahead. The bus shakes him off like flies. The bus. And he's in the terminal. And he was all second effort. But Jerome said, you're not stopping me this time, pal. And here comes the bus. Get down and goal. They go to Bettis again. Bettis gets hit. Still driving. Touchdown. Stewart. Shovel pass. Bettis, right side, big hole, still on his feet. The bus is rumbling. Close as he can, this is third down. Bettis gets the first down and more. How about a touchdown on the win? Jim Taylor goes into the game. He'll be in the Packer backfield. I just tried to play to my maximum ability, and I, I played very, very aggressive, and I played within the bounds of the rules of the game. Here's to Jimmy Taylor, finds an opening, and goes for the score. Jimmy Taylor up the middle, fights. Jim Taylor cracking over the middle. It's a hard, bruising battle, and it is Taylor running, bouncing off a tackle. Draw play, Taylor driving over the left tackle position, fighting on. Finds daylight, and... Straight ahead. Spins away from the tackler there. The give us to Taylor, cracking straight ahead. Oh, look at this run. What a run. Marshawn Lynch. Still oh. on his feet. Has blockers now. He's dancing his way for the touchdown. Powers over a defender. He is electrifying. He is ridiculous. Total beast mode there. Take it blow right into the chest and just never stop spinning and moving. And she stutter steps, breaks through the line, makes a man miss, cuts back outside right 30, 35, 40, down the far sidelines, pushes a defender, keeps fighting. He's still moving. He's going to go down to the 20, the 15. They're chasing him 10. He dives in. Lynch. Wilson was in there, then he was. Good up and look at him. He never quits. He never quits. Lynch looks for running room on the right side. Still gets a little pressure. He keeps going. Keeps his legs going. He's in there. The touchdown. Marshawn Lynch. How did you do that?